you doing, everybody? Welcome to the Stan Sheriff Center. The Hawaiian Tell FCU starting lineups are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. And here we go again, Chris McLaughlin. The Bows and the Beach, the latest chapter. The top two teams in the Big West Conference. 49ers coming in with a perfect 9-0 record in league. And the first serve off of the palm of Janelle Hudson is returned with a kill from the back row by Kalei Greeley. Good start for Hawaii. One of the great things I like about Kalei Greeley is even though she's a freshman, she will not bump the third ball over. Since she got here in August, she attacks that third ball every chance she can, no matter where she is on the court. Hawaii losing the first meeting between these two teams at the Pyramid in Long Beach in five. Olivia McGill with the overpass, gobbles it up. A two-nothing start here for Hawaii, and Olivia McGill has particular interest in this match. She had to leave that five-setter early in the second stanza because of a lower leg injury. And that was one of the few matches of the year that Hawaii was out-blocked. And that serve by Taylor Higgins just long, so... Yeah, the his departure in that game really was, was a blow to the real Wahine and to McGill, because McGill likes playing every set she can. <laughs> Here's the serve by Alex Reed, passed by Savannah Kahakai, getting her second start at Libero, and it set up that sequence perfectly as McGill pounds it down for her second kill. McGill up early and she reaches high and goes over the block. And that's not a small block, that's 6-2 Ashley Murray, the freshman from Torrance. So Ty Manole Vau now on the floor. Ops in the Big West Conference and ninth nationally in aces per set. But that time the beach getting the point. A la Ashley Murray, 6-2 freshman from Torrance, California. Two-time Big West Conference Freshman of the Week. Nice move by Murray. They, they move their middles along the net really well. They don't always go to the center. They go all over the place. One hand set by Higgins to McGill, and it's a point for Hawaii. And Olivia McGill already three times the lady here in the kill department. <laughs> what a start. And look at this hang time. She's up, 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 and has to stay a little bit longer because the set wasn't precise. So Kahakai out of Farrington High School with the serve, getting the start again at Ibero. And the step out goes to Chisholm Opala, 6'2", senior from Yorba Linda, California. All Big West Conference first teamer last season, in fact, was an all-region ABCA honorable mention. She's hitting her stride right about now, hit over 400 in the last three matches. Chelsea Caberjack, the lefty serve. Here's Manuel Leibau from the back row, the dink, sniffed out by Hudson. So the set goes left side to Brinka, and Hansa Brinka is denied by Nikki Taylor and Kalea Dolfo, wow. This block closed quickly. Brinka puts a nice little line shot on it, cuts it back down across her body, and Taylor there waiting. And here is Taylor with the serve. It's a good one. The pass by Tyler Jackson, left side. Brinka again blocked, kept up by Cabrajack. Now from the back row, it's Reed. It's blocked and sent. For chance now for Hawaii. Higgins goes to the middle. Cut and Adolfo finishes the deal. Well, that's some smooth transition play. Kalea Doppel taking the free ball on her own and running that slide to perfection. How about the energy here in this early portion of set number one? Taylor with the serve. Bump set. And it is Opala dug up nicely there by Higgins. Here's the bump set to Greeley off the fingertips, but she went wide of the antenna. So it's a point for Long Beach State as that set was just a little too far outside. Yeah, that, that's a tough, that's a very difficult back bump set. It's a blind shot. A little adrenaline will put it a little too, bit too far, and that's what happened there to Kahakai. Freshman from Latvia, Anita Brinka with the serve, diving pass by Kahakai to no avail. And that is an ace for Anita Brinka. Breaker played in the Latvia Junior National Beach Team. So she's got a lot of, act, a lot of uh, experience on the sand. She's obviously translated that to the indoor game. Tickles the tape and it's another ace. And just like that, the 49ers have drawn even at six apiece. Well, regardless of what happens, Dave shows you cannot complain about his Rainbow Wahine starting slowly. They got off to a good start. Rinka with the serve. Kahakai this time handles it well. High and away it goes to Greeley. And she drops the hammer. Notice who they're serving right now, by the way. They're working on Kahakai big time. Checking to see if the freshman has got the, uh, the skills to handle most passes. 
No, I no. think she does, by the way. Yeah, had a career-high 17 digs in her first start against Cal State Fullerton on the road last match for Hawaii. The other freshman, Kalei Greeley, with the serve. Here's Reed, splits the uprights of the proposed block. Kahakai couldn't sniff that one out. So another point here for Long Beach State. And back to serve is Tyler Jackson, 5'8", senior from Long Beach. Head coach Brian Gimolero calls her the best libero in the nation. Hard to argue with that. High toss on the jump serve. Kahakai, the other libero with the pass. Middle set, Adolfo didn't get all of it, got enough of it. What a pass by Kahakai, right on the money. Tara Higgins having a blast, not having to put her track shoes on tonight. Kahakai was inserted in at Libero midway through that five-set match on the road for Hawaii against UC Irvine this last road trip. Hawaii was down two sets to none, able to turn it around. Savannah Kahakai was part of the reason why. Anna Ponce with the serve. Left side, it's Reed. And she goes off of the McGill forearm and down. So we're going back and forth here early on in set number one. If Long Beach State gets a good pass, they're very tough because the middles are very difficult. See how McGill got caught in the middle there? She jumped and uh, could not get to the outside fast enough because she was worried about the middle attack. The setter, Janelle Hudson, will do it again. A little early on the trigger there. Janelle Hudson, a 5'8 junior from San Diego. Transfer from Iowa State and is currently fourth in the Big West Conference in assists per set. Higgins goes high and away. Manuel is a lot of heat on that one, but it's dug up nicely by Brinka. Bump set, and it'll be free ball. Over it'll be smothered by Olivia McGill. Did you see that? Most people will just step back and take the free ball. Not McGill. She challenges this. Look at her arms, gets up way over. She touches 10 6. Long arms, good hands, great vision, good feet. She's got it all. Yeah, that was eclipsing. Bree Mackey with the push, then a little duel at the net. Hawaii keeps it alive. Here's Greeley, the swing from the back row against a triple block dug up by Jackson. Right side, Mackey. That one had a lot of pepper on it. Bree Mackey, 6'3", uh, senior from Redding, California. Last time against Hawaii in Long Beach, 20 kills and eight blocks, and that week was named the ABCA, ABCA Player of the Week, Chris. Because of shots like that. You know, she's great on that right side, as good a right side player as there is in the country, probably. Mano Leval from the opposite side for Hawaii. Ty bringing her game tonight. A lot of heat on that one. Mano Leval who had 56 on, attempts, 16 kills, 13 digs, six service aces against Long Beach State in that first match. Good pass there by Brinka. She'll get the set on the outside. Took something off. One hand save Manole Val. But easy pickings at the net. It was either Brinka or Murray. Either way, it's a point for Long Beach. And tied Manole Val's serve that forced the setter off the net. Kind of wasted a little bit there, Kanoa, because the, 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 uh, it really was almost a free ball that came over, and Hawaii just did not control it. So Lindsay Lawmaster coming in, already the fifth tie in this first step. Taylor didn't get a good run up, and was able to still tool the block. I'm not sure how she was able to pull that one off, and she's even smiling about it. <laughs> she pulls one out of the hat right there. No jump whatsoever, just goes up and swings away and flails away at the block. Look at this, no jump, just stands there and gets the kill. Last time we saw Nikki Taylor in this building was pretty phenomenal as she went for a career high 22 kills, hitting 462 against UCSB. Here she is off the net, that's dug up by Mackey. Mackey gets the set opposite position, high hands, punched up in the air by Manuel Leval. Now Greeley with the chance. Right there is Jackson. Mackey again, not a good run up, but she pushes it through, and it works for Long Beach State, and we're tied again. Bree Mackey just so savvy when she's up there. Goes up, just pushes it right into the arm, and a late closing Kalei Adolfo. Now Kaberjack, one of the team captains with the serve. Good pass, Kahakai. Right side, Taylor through the block and down. And again, Nikki Taylor, who didn't look like the feet were fully collected there, but it still got through. They were a little, that set got away from Higgins just a little bit, a little too tight to the net, dying quickly, and Taylor made the most of it. Two good adjustments by Taylor. And here she is now with the serve. Brinka makes it work. 
So we are going back and forth. We're riding the seesaw here for set number one. Let's take a look at uh, Nikki Taylor. She's got to go up and scramble to make that play. Also keeps herself from going into the net. That is one sign that the set was probably too close to the net. And it's a Brinko with the serve. It's a floater. Pass Kahakai. Higgins fouled Adolfo off the fingertips right there is Brinka. Middle set. What a swing by Apollo, but Hawaii forges a return. Left side, here's Reed. Cross court angle in. Alex Reed just loves that cross court angle. When she was in high school, she was the second team. High school All-American. Highly recruited. First lead here for Long Beach State. Here's Taylor from the back row. Chance now for the 49ers. Step out with Paula. Get it at the apex of the jump. So chance now for Hawaii. Adolfo is roofed. Chisholm Opala turning that one back. Higgins didn't fool anybody there. Two blockers out on Kalei Adolfo. And it's a two-point lead for Long Beach State, and some of those kinds of things are happening now for the beach. As that one tickled the tape and fell in for an ace, and just like that, nationally ranked Long Beach State up three in the first. Let's take a look at the keys to the match for Long Beach State. Breeze bombs. That's Brie Mackey. She had 20 kills against Hawaii last time. I think she's got to do that again tonight to beat the Rainbow Wahine. And for Hawaii, the keys being McGee's kills. She didn't have Last time because she didn't play match last time. Missed the last three sets tonight already. Olivia McGill, three kills, no errors, hitting a thousand. Yes, yeah, those are the kills for the game. Some gaudy percentages offensively here as Long Beach State coming out the gate hitting 368, Hawaii 474. But Long Beach with the three point lead coming out of the timeout. It's called a pass. Now Greeley. That one blocked and then pushed over by Adolfo. Diving save, Reed. Well done there. But a free chance results here for Hawaii. And away Greeley against a solo block right there is Jackson. Perfect dig. Now Reed, big swing up by the dig. Back row, Manuele Bao finds the seam. What a rally that was. Tyler Jackson with an amazing dig on the first one. Ah, Kai digs a great one. Here's the back row attack from Ty Manuele Bao to terminate that point. That ends a 4 0 run for Long Beach State. And now Substitution for Hawaii as Seven Nusa, the senior defensive specialist who has started the majority of matches this year at Libero, back to serve, and also in set momentarily is Kendra Kelsch. We know powerful in this position. She played it all last year as she backed up Ali Longo. Quick middle set. That's Opala back. And then on the second touch, the swing by Hudson's dug up by Mendoza. Back. Set to Mano only bowing in the back row. Jackson keeps it alive for the 49. Ah, Reed, the dink popped up by Adolfo. Mano Levao lost Peter. Chance now for the 49ers. Opala in the middle didn't get a good touch on it. Kels tried to go over on the second touch. It was blocked. Diving save, Mendoza, and we keep going. Pushed over on the second touch by Hudson. Kelsch kept it going. Now Kahakai, the soft tap over. Diving save, Hudson. And then a joust at a net that was awkward, but we're still playing. Reed is blocked and roofed. That rally had everything. Let's take it, sir. Mendoza safe. Here's the pop up. Mendoza pops it, keeps this ball alive. And at the end is the block by Kelsch and Adolfo. A lot of those long rallies went the way of Long Beach State in Long Beach back on October 11th when these two teams first met. Mendoza, though, follows it up with a service error, and Taylor Higgins comes back into set for Hawaii as Long Beach State gets the point. 16 serving 14 here in set number one, Tyler Jackson. 49ers libero with the jump serve. Mendoza, the diving pass. Manole Vau, a quick set, and she got a turn back at her. It was Murray combining forces with Janelle Hudson. And this block just tight inside. Manole Vau tried to use a smaller blocker, Hudson, but Hudson up to the task. At 5'8", Hudson got some spring for sure. Step out, here's Adolfo, roofed. Roofed by Alex Reed, who hit the deck, but... 
think things are okay on that side of the net. Dave Shoji decided to call a timeout as the 49ers block starting to establish itself. They lead by three. This series record is sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. See Hawaii leading the Ultimate Series 28, 16, and 1. Some epic battles. Last one, though, won by Long Beach State on October 11th. The beach, however, hasn't won in Honolulu since 1903. Jackson with the serve out of the timeout. Here's Mano Olevao through the block and down. Point Hawaii. So good timeout there by Dave Schoen. Yeah, that was a well-constructed timeout. And again, they're picking on Kalakai in serve reception. But Savannah's up to the task. She's getting a good pass there for his. And Olevao uh, now having one room now side to work when that set gets all the way out to the antenna. Ponce coming in and serving it into the net. Tough break there for Ponce and company. As Long Beach State gets the point, Janelle Hudson, the setter, retreats back. She will serve. Her mom is former University of Hawaii standout. Carolyn Tayatafa, now Hudson. Taylor, that was a big swing. Great dig by Brinka. Now left side, Reed. High hands right there is Mano Leval. Here's Higgins. Back to Ty. And she makes it work. Ty, Mano Leval playing with an awful lot of energy tonight. She wants this badly. You can tell. Nice tool job by her. Turning the ball inside the three-meter line there. Catching some uh, hands. Higgins with the jump serve. Pass tight to the net. It is Murray blocked back in the roof. So Olivia McGill making her presence known here in the latter juncture of seven. One McGill playing very efficiently here thus far, Chris. Picks up her second block of the night already. Hawaii with four blocks. Trailing by one two. Over their, one over their average, by the way. Step out. This is Mackey dug up by Kahakai. And nobody got it for Hawaii as they thought it was going to go back over the net. Taylor Higgins probably should have yelled a little louder at Nikki Taylor to get out of the way because uh, she could get, she could have gotten it for sure. Tony serving 17, pass Mendoza tight to the net. And it's going to be a point for Long Beach as Higgins called for the violation up close to the net. She's a back row player, can't go up and uh, attack the ball that's uh, above the net. 21 serving 17, Long Beach State. Trying to distance itself here, but Hawaii catches a break with the out serve. You got to look at Dave Shoji, 40th season at the helm for Hawaii. You got 30 years on the other side for Brian Gimilero, head coach for Long Beach State, who also happens to be a Long Beach State alum. So 70 years of excellent volleyball head coaching between these two legends. Here's Mackey. What a back set that time by Hudson. That was epic, and Mackey able to get the positive result. And Matthews, one of the keys to the game tonight, as we talked about earlier. That one she kind of whiffed at a little bit, but went over the block, found the open area of the court. Beach by four. Here's Taylor from the opposite side. She pulverized that chance. That ball was hit with some authority. Nikki Taylor, when she gets it going, as we saw right before they left on the road trip, 21 kills that night, she can really turn a match around. Yeah, seems to be turning a corner now in terms of her health and rhythm. The Hakai with the soft floater. Quick middle set. That one blocked back by Adolfo. Puts up the roof on Opala and Hawaii back to within a deuce. Yeah, Opala normally hits 352 on the year. And that's because she doesn't make many mistakes and doesn't get blocked very much. Brinkla off the high hands. Here's Taylor now, opposite position, blocked back, one-handed in the air by Adolfo. Second touch, Taylor, and it'll be a free chance now for the 49ers. Dumped over on the second touch by Hudson, but Hawaii picks it up, and Taylor gets a swing out of it. 49ers go to Mackey, but it'll be an illegal set, and a point for Hawaii. What a sequence. That was an amazing sequence, enough to make Brian Gimilero call a timeout. Watch this pop up. Find the perfect gift for every occasion at Big Island Candies. Visit them in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or click on BigIslandCandies.com to view their entire collection and place your order today.
It was Seesaw early in set number one. We've seen some runs from both teams, and right now the differential is a single digit as Kahakai serves out of the timeout. Delay middle set to Mackey. Triple block was up, and she got root. And Brian Gimalero, as you alluded to in the open, Chris, second guessing the call a little bit. We're tied at 22. Middle set goes to Opala. Great dig, Higgins. Now Greeley from off the net. Somehow plugged it through the double block. Just when Long Beach State had the lead, was on a roll. Here comes Hawaii. Timeout 49ers. Hawaii on a 5-0 run. A Hawaii 5-0 run. And the Rainbow Wahine up 23-22 here in set number one. Savannah Kahaka to serve out of the timeout. Pass by Mackey. Middle set on the step out to Opala block back. Mackey tips it over. Chance for Hawaii, but miscommunication on the second touch. So now the 49ers with the advantage. Here's Mackey. Dug up by Higgins. Kahakai back, bump set, Greeley, her touch snipped out by Hudson. Middle set, Opala off the touch, right there is Manuele Val. Now Taylor from the right side, hit it back. The pass tight to the net, we got a joust at the net a couple of times. Adolfo couldn't put it down and this one keeps going. Higgins high and away, Greeley off the block and down. Oh man, the towels are out here in the Stan Sheriff Center. And with just cause, wow, what a rally, what a finish there with Clay Greeley pounding that one down. Hawaii with a Aloha ball here in the first set. Brinka off speeder right there is Higgins. Kahakai again assuming the setting responsibilities. Greeley can't finish the deal. Mackey on the second touch. Keeps it going for Long Beach State. Down by one. Once again, a factor in that Long Beach State offense as she comes out right now. She's got five kills on ten swings. And it's Kaberjack to serve the southpaw with the heater. Higgins goes right side. Taylor against a soap block. wide. No touch at the net. And we start over at 24. Place Maxtras. A timeout taken by Dave Shoji. And so a golden opportunity for Hawaii following a 6-0 run to end things in the first set, but the 49ers able to work back even. We got to credit the 49ers had a good serve there. Taylor Higgins and Manuel Val put up a nice pass. Higgins, good back set to Taylor. And Nikki Taylor took a good swing at that ball. Shot was open. She just missed by a fraction. But she did have only one blocker up on her, so going cross court wouldn't have been a bad idea either. Let's take a look at the Midpack Petroleum leaderboard while we have an opportunity here. And we're going to look at a category of Big West Conference team blocking. Hawaii and Long Beach State, one and two respectively. You see the averages per set. And right now, Hawaii with six team blocks compared to three for Long Beach State in this match. But the end here in the Stan Sheriff Center, it is vintage Hawaii and Long Beach State. It is. It really is. And Hawaii with the double their normal output in blocks per set with six. Long Beach State right on their average of three blocks per set. But Two again, teams really played well at the net. Yeah, you saw the, the seesaw early in set number one and then the game of runs as that set went on. But the golden opportunity for Hawaii to jump on Long Beach here in the first set. They added a Loha ball, couldn't get it done. So now we reset here at 24 apiece. I yeah, had two chances at Loha ball, 24-22 and 24-23. Both chances, but it's never over until it's, it, it's over with these two teams, that's for sure. Long Beach State preseason pick to finish second in the Big West Conference. Hawaii picked first, but right now that script is flipped as it's the 49ers in first place of the conference, Hawaii in number two spot. Greeley from off the net, dug up by Jackson. 49ers go left side, Brinko, dug up by Kahakai, nicely done. Greeley another try, didn't get a huge hit on it. So now the 49ers attacking, but miscommunication there, free chance for Hawaii. Higgins, high and away, Greeley too low below the net. Kahakai plays it off the block. Greeley will get another swing, and this time makes it count. How about Ty Hunter? 
Ronaldo will win battle, calling off the center. Higgins is saying, no, I got this one. I can set it for 25 feet and put it on the money to Greeley. Pelé Greeley, what a turnaround. Five kills here in the first set. She's been struggling a little bit lately, but tonight she's bringing everything. Look at, there's the call. I got this, I got this from 25 feet on the money. Assistant team captain making the call there. Time on Ole Bound. Nikki Taylor with the serve. Again, Aloha point here for Hawaii. Brinka off speeder. Right there's Greeley. It's Kendra Kelsch with the back row set to Mano Ole Bound. Dug up by Cabrajack and then put over by Opala. We're knotted up again at 25. Adolfo was right there. Just could not handle that little cutback shot by Opala. Opala, one of the better middles in the country. All Big West last year, first team. And Honorable mention All-American, two years in a row. Here's the serve by Brinka. Mahakai the pass. Higgins. Back row to Taylor. Off the fingertips. Right there's Cabrajack. Step out Opala. Is able to dunk it through the double block of Hawaii. And it is now a low point for Long Beach State. And Dave Shoji arguing that call. He thought this ball was held in her hand a little bit too long. Like a little slam dunkish motion. It was close for sure. But Brinka now with a chance to give the 49ers the set one win. Here's Taylor from the back row. Tried to go hard angle, cross court, missed wide, no touch. And the 49ers escape with the set one win. In extras, 27-25. And right now, the 808 behind the 562. Let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank, Chris. Well, in this play, what I thought was a crucial part of the 9-4 comeback by Hawaii, Taylor Higgins, watch her in the back right, and, and Hudson, Janelle Hudson, the setter, she's going to do a play that's rarely done. She's going to sidestep the ball. All Hawaii players are, have a big opening in the middle of the court, but not Higgins. She's not going to let this ball drop. Watch how alert she is, giving up her body, stepping forward, popping it up, keeping it alive, and Hawaii eventually wins the rally because of that alert play. And that's how it works when you're ready all the time. And we'll take one more look at it from a different angle. Now that was that was the good. Was the, the bad good. for Hawaii is oh, yeah. they had set point three times, unable to pull it out. 27-25 set one went the way of Long Beach State. Yeah. Right. The, the comeback coming in from 9-4, take the lead and then get two two more set points that Long Beach got was pretty amazing. We'll see how Hawaii responds to this little bit of adversity here of disappointment. Already an emotional match. Hawaii out for payback this weekend. Here's Higgins with the serve. Set goes high and away. Reed. That was a laser beam off the palm of Alex Reed, who had seven kills on 40 swings. Flatlined the percentage, though, against Hawaii back on October 11th in that five-set Long Beach victory. Janelle Hudson to serve. Higgins chases down the pass. Kahakai scrambles on the second touch, and it's Taylor. She's been ad-libbing like a queen tonight. That's a great way to put it. Ad-libbing is what Nikki Taylor's done. That's the third shot she's had like that. Of her, of her uh, four kills tonight, three of them have been ad-libs. Now Manole vow to serve. Hudson. Goes delayed to Mackey and finds the deep corner where no Hawaii players were. Again, this is a weekend of potential payback for Hawaii, trying to gain vengeance against Long Beach State for that five-set loss back on October 11th. The previous night, they lost in three at Cal State Northridge, and of course, they'll be taking on the Matadors tomorrow night here at the Stan Sheriff Center. Mackey takes on the setting responsibilities. It's Brinka blocked. Brinka again, ding. Is Higgins Kahakai bump set to Greeley from off the net? That's a diving save by Reed. Middle set goes to Murray and Ashley Murray finding success in that middle position. Had nine kills and nine blocks versus Hawaii the first time around. Great hustling set by Janelle Hudson right here. She just runs to the spot, gets her feet there, puts up a perfect set for Murray. Middle set McGill off the block right there is Hudson. So Mackey goes back row to Reed. That was a full swing effort, but she pumps it long, so point for Hawaii. Two, so three. Reed, highly recruited by Cal, uh, Colorado State, Georgia, Missouri, Ohio State, Long Beach State. Got it. He's a good one. 
Ahakai serves it to the other libero, Jackson. Mets it goes to Murray. She's able to handcuff Higgins. Big attempt. So point for Long Beach today. They have been looking formidable all season long. And even in their losses this year, Chris, you pointed out, they were in those matches. They, they conceivably could be unbeaten overall here tonight. Yeah, I asked Brian Gimilera about that. He was emphatic that, yes, those were all winnable matches. They were not blown out, blown out of any of those matches. Adolfo two hands the pass. Right side, here's Taylor through the block and down. So Nikki Taylor with her fifth kill on her 15th swing. One thing Brian Gimilero says about this year's squad, he said, really, for the first time in, I'll say, almost a decade, we're healthy. They have been severely bit by the injury bug in recent seasons. Yeah, they really have. And, and she, he said Janelle Hudson was having some back issues in warm-up, but she looks pretty good right now. Really, that looked pretty good right there as Hawaii draw even. Really, six kills, no errors. She's putting on a little hitting clinic right now. Really has hit a little bit of the freshman plateau here in conference play. As Apollo on the step out, hit it long, no touch up front. So another point for Hawaii, but Kalei Greeley with the hitting percentage of 212 overall. That's dipped down since Big West conference play has started because she's hitting below 200 in conference play. Taylor with the serve, Reed near overpass, and then Opala stretching way up to hammer it home. Good hang time by Opala. Number 39 recruit in the country when she was in high school. Goes up, taps it out, no block. Now Paula, three matches early on this season with abdominal and hip flexor injuries. Taylor on the back row. Nikki Taylor finding a rhythm. She's really brought life and offensive production to that right side. Before she was coming out of the back row, and now she's being left in the back row to do that attacking out of the back row. Had a near triple-double on the road against UC Irvine. 10 kills, 12 digs, and 8 blocks. That's a stat line right there. Here's Brinko. One-handed by Manole Val, but nobody had her back as the wood fell off of the net. So point for Long Beach State. And this set starting very similarly to what we saw in set number one, where it was back and forth for a good spell. Really the pass. Higgins goes left side to Monole Val. Was there a touch up front? Yes, there was. Point for Hawaii. The time on Monole Val over the years has gotten better and better at knowing what to do with her shot selection at the net. What to do with each set. That time the ball was a little high, a little inside. It was a well-formed block, so she goes high hands and hard high hands. She's improved in just about every category this season, statistically speaking. Hudson going away to Reed. That's dug up off the block by Ponce. Pushed over on the second touch by Taylor Higgins. Well timed there. And Brian Gimilero with the palms held upwards. As Higgins goes over and ta taps it down. Gimilero says net violation. I think Patsy Malta, the upper free said the ball was the thing that made the net move. So Hawaii up two, step out, goes to Opala, off speed here, diving to save Taylor. Now Manole Val up the ladder, that's dug up by Jackson. Set, goes left side, Reed, she pulls the string and it works. Now Tyler Jackson to serve. Jackson recruited by Hawaii, was also recruited by Texas and Cal State Fullerton. But the Long Beach native deciding on Long Beach State and the fifth player in 49er program history to reach 1,300 career digs. Really with the pass. Middle set, McGill. Deep corner, Jackson popped it straight up. That's what she does all day long. Now Reed. Kahakai unable to handle that one. And guess what? We're even, 8-8. Reed is just gonna, does a great job of attacking the ball cross court. No matter how much Hawaii moves that block across, she still seems to find a way to get a hit, hit it in a sharp angle. Oliva with the pass. Higgins traces down the second touch. On Oliva left side dug up by Jackson. Perfect dig. Middle set Murray the touch is sniffed out by Higgins. Now Greeley back row swing. Hudson to Reed. It's a solo block. Diving save Kahaka. Taylor from the floor has to tap it over. Hudson second touch. Right there was Higgins. Now Manolival again blocked back. 
Monolival, another try off the block. Hudson goes to Reed. Can she finish it? No. What a rally we got going. McGill handles the bump set. Monolival from off the net. Chance now for the 49ers. Reed, the touch. Pancake save. No. Monolival thought she got the spatula underneath that one. But it is a point for Long Beach State, and they surge ahead. Let's see if she gets it. If Time on Olivia gets her hand in this ball. She got that one. Wonder she was questioning the referee. Here's McGill blocked back, but she one hands it in the air. Mano Leval the dink. Scramble by the 49ers, and then Reed slaps it over. Higgins touches it on the second hit. Now the step up to Murray, blocked by Mano Leval. Hudson high and away to Reed. And a disjointed sequence is won by Long Beach State. Just think the previous play where Ty Money slides her hand under the ball and pops it up. That was absolutely a good play. Patsy Malta, the up top official, Wayne Lee downstairs, Ryan Scudder, Kevin Chun, the line judges. Here's Kahakai handling the serve. Mano Leval trying to apply the tourniquet here, but instead the run continues for the 49ers as Reed goes off the block and out. A 5-0 run for Long Beach State and a timeout taken by Dave Shoji. Tonight's Jack Fact, the elder statesman of the Big West, no doubt about it. Dave Shoji, Brian Gimilero, 70 years of head coaching between them, and they have created a standard of excellence at their respective programs. How about the years and the wins combined compared to the seven other Big West coaches? They got more than all of them. That's pretty amazing. Long Beach State leads by three here in set two. Alex Reed leads the way with nine kills, six kills apiece for Nikki Taylor and Calais Greeley. And you can hang that point on the Dave Shoji timeout. As to what you needed that one badly to try to get out of that rotation. Well, Taylor Higgins. Passed by Jackson. Here's Reed. Diving save Higgins. Nobody could get a second touch on it for Hawaii. You start to get the feeling that Long Beach State is wearing on Hawaii a little bit at this juncture. But as we have seen between these two teams, that momentum can shift violently. Kahakai, two-handed pass. Higgins chases down the set. Taylor with the big swing. Jackson, what a dig. Back row cycles to Brinka. And Greeley plays what some of the crowd thought was an out ball. Taylor's block. She'll get a second try at it. Off the block and down this time. Nikki Taylor kind of flopping around after some of those jumps because she's had to do some of that improvisation. But it's been working for her. Seven kills now for Taylor on 19 attacks, hitting 263. Sarah Mendoza into serve. Pass by Reed. Middle set goes to Murray. Access denied. Olivia McGill saying not this time. McGill does a nice job of getting up early, turning around, the celebration by Taylor. Here's Mackey, that one missed time. Mendoza the dig, chance for Hawaii McGill in the middle, dug up on one knee by Hudson and then pushed over on the second touch by Mackey. And you see how they work that. Mackey will assume the setting responsibilities in that situation more often than not. And she is aggressive at the net. She really is. She's a, she's a big time player. Here's Greeley. Tried to go deep corner, too long, no touch at the net point for Long Beach State. Again, the lead is three. Greeley's first error of the night in 19 swings. There's Greeley, the way he's scrambling over the last few sequences. Reed, that was a scramble hit blocked by McGill. Mackey somehow gets it over. Higgins sets up Greeley against the double block. Jackson there to cover it. Middle set goes to Murray. Kahakai pops it in the air. Greeley's going to set back row to Mendoza. And Mendoza gets the kill. That's a little reminiscent of what Kahakai did earlier this year when she got 
a kill as a as a back row specialist. And there's Mendoza taking up on the wrong foot and still getting the kill. That's kill number two on the season for Sarah Mendoza. Followed up by the Sarah Mendoza ace, and just like that, Hawaii within a point. Uh, the Kakai ace, I should say. Serving deep, Reed with the pass. Here's Brinka against a double block. It's blanketed. Kalandolfo eats it up. That's a formidable front line Hawaii's got right now. You have the 6'3 Taylor, 6'2 Kalandolfo, 6'2 Greeley. That's a large front line by Hawaii. One of the reasons why they're the seventh best blocking team in the country. Sixth tie of the second set. Here's Reed. That is a hammer from the back row. Alex Reed. They are not shy about going to her either. That is already her 21st attack. 11 kills hitting 429. I mean, why not keep feeding her? Yeah, she's, she's, she's definitely the go-to gal right now. And those are the pass. Higgins, middle set Adolfo. And it's a net violation called against Chisholm O'Pollo. Tied at 15, Taylor with the serve. Hudson goes quick middle to Apollo. That's dug up by Taylor. Over the net, Mackey! A solo block by Adolfo! Go figure. Long Beach State's most prolific attacker going one-on-one -on -one with play Adolfo. And Adolfo has the last word right there. Six blocks already for Kaleo Dolfo, and oh my word, Chisholm O'Pala. What a nice set from Janelle Hudson. One hand goes up, leaps high, steals the ball from going over the net, and puts up a perfect one-handed set to O'Pala. That had some definity attached to it. Here's Greeley, off the block. There's Brinka, set middle to O'Pala, and again, Dropping the hammer. Long Beach stayed up one. Let's take a look at the last one. Dale Hudson goes up, leaps up, steals the ball going over the net, takes Calais Adolfo with him, puts up a beautiful one-handed set. Here's Greeley against a solo block. Hudson handles it herself. Then the set by Kaberjek. Back row to Reed. And again, Reed makes it happen. State tends to score points in bunches. One of the reasons why they're 19 and 4 this year. Middle set, Adolfo. That's dug up by Kaberjack. Now in the middle it is Opala diving save, Kahakai. Opala another try blocked by Adolfo. Pinballed around and then returned. And Hawaii unable to get it back the other way. Wow, Long Beach State scrambling, sprawling. Well, these two teams over the years have mirrored each other on defense. Both teams so prideful of not wanting to let any ball hit the floor. The crowd trying to urge the home team on. Long Beach State last year going 18 and 11. 11 and 5 and finished in fourth in the Big West Conference for the first time in the Brian Gilero era. Long Beach State missed the postseason in back to back years, but already back to 19 victories. And very much in the postseason mix. Here's Taylor. Jackson that time couldn't dig it up, and it's a point for Hawaii at the most opportune time. How about the misdirection set by. Taylor Higgins running one way, setting back to Taylor, having confidence that Taylor would be there. She's running one way, goes back the other way, gives Taylor a one-on-one -on -one situation. Taylor delivers. Really slaps it over. Hudson, quick middle to Opala. Diving save, Kahakai over the net, but out. And that's a point for Long Beach State. Opala unstoppable right now, Chris. Well, what a pass from Tyler Jackson. Give her all the credit there. Puts the ball right up to the net where Hudson can put it right where she wants, and Opala can deliver from just about anywhere. Yeah, third in the Big West Conference in kill percentage, Chisholm Opala. Pushed over on the second touch by Higgins, played off the net by Hudson after the diving save by Brinka. Higgins now goes outside, Mano Leval blocked by Hudson, and Ruth. Nice 
did, comes off the net. That just goes to show you how you gotta never, ever give up when that ball's alive. Janelle Hudson doing a little bit of everything for Long Beach. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. And Kaiser Permanente. Welcome back to the Stan Sheriff Center. Largest lead of the second set for Long Beach State. Up four, 21 serving 17 out of the timeout. And already in the match, one set to none. Keani Pussy inserted into the match for Hawaii. Try to see if she can provide a spark. The Rainbow Wahine have been close, but have not been able to get a substantial advantage over Long Beach. Here's Manoli Bawa. To the tool Hudson that time. So the point for Hawaii. The titles have worked well for Dave Shoji. The Rainbow Wahine have won the majority of the points coming out of the time tonight. And now on a pass out of Moanalua to serve. Oh, so important to get these serves in at this juncture of the set. Oh, tickles the tape and it's an ace. I was just gonna say that Hawaii's gonna start serving tougher because everything they're serving over right now, Long Beach State is passing right up to the net. But if Hawaii can pick up an ace or two here or there, it'll make the match a whole lot different. <laughs> yeah, as long as you can do that every single time. So there's a pass right up to where it's supposed to be. Step out, Okala. And run the middle, will score most of the time on plays like that. The lead is back to three and Tyler Jackson to serve. We are seeing what makes Long Beach State so tough here in this second set. Their ability to pick up tips, their passing ability, a lot of that is personified by this woman right here, Tyler Jackson. Really the pass there. Kelsch is right side. Posse is blocked. Kept alive by Kahakai. Now Manolevao into the net it goes. Point Long Beach State. And they're smelling a potential two set to none lead here on Hawaii's home floor. Kendra Kelsch assuming the setting responsibilities here late in set two for Hawaii. Jackson goes deep corner, two-handed by Kahakai. Here's Posse, touches it over to the block. Now Reed blocked back by McGill. It'll be a free ball sent Hawaii's way. What do they do with it? Kelsch, quick middle, McGill, the touch shot, diving save, Kabrajak, sent over by Jackson. Kelsch again, middle to McGill, saved by Kabrajak a second time. Reed blocked back. Second touch swing by Hudson. How about the chutzpah by Janelle Hudson? And it's a Loha point for Long Beach State in set two. You gotta give the beach a lot of credit here for the scramble there, another scramble there. And Hudson finishing the play with an attack as a 5-8 setter against a huge Hawaii block. On a second touch that was below the top of the net. Yeah, well, you know, they're, they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. They're digging an awful lot of balls, passing almost perfectly. Jackson, she served well. They have made runs with her behind the service line here tonight. From her knees, Kelsch goes to Mano Oleval, pushes it through the block. Hudson on the second touch, saved by Posse. Now Mano Oleval again, a little more heat on it, and she found the deep corner. It was laid by Jackson. She thought it was an out ball, but it was not. Taylor Higgins back in, she will serve. Nikki Taylor into the front row. Important serve here. She took something off, Jackson the pass. Set goes to Reed, dug up by Kahakai, nicely done there. Right side set, Taylor. Brinka pops it up. Step out, goes to Murray, right there is Higgins. Kahakai, bump set right side to Taylor, off the net though, so couldn't get a hard swing on it. Hudson on the second touch. Put it down, and that is how set number she two through into the net. Oh, they call the net violation. You saw the Hawaii bench up in arms. Ryan Jimalero was celebrating right in front of us, but yes, this one will be prolonged momentarily as Hawaii gets the point, 21 serving 24. Brink of the pass, high and away, set goes to Reed, blocked. Jackson unable to chase it down. Hawaii still has life. And McGill and Taylor over there just waiting. And Brian Jimbler has got to call a timeout. 
Hawaii within two. Brian Jimalero with a few more words for the top official, Patsy Malta. Now, Patsy Malta is a national official. She, she's called Final Fours, Regional Finals. She's a veteran official. And she's, uh, she's used to heat like this with big crowds and pressure match. The two, point of, two contentious coaches, let's call them, who are not going to let her have an off night. Let's, let's put it that way. Yeah. And Brian Jimalero, I mean, he is the kind of coach. He will prance along the sideline. I mean, he's in front of us from our broadcast position more often than not here when we're on the same side as the Long Beach State match. He is very active. Very little sit-down time in a Long Beach State match for Brian Jimalero. That's correct. Yeah, he burns off some calories. <laughs> If you're Dave Shoji, and in this case, associate coach Scott Wong, what's the message you're delivering down to here in a crucial second set? Well, the first thing, Taylor Higgins has got to keep this ball in after the timeout. It'd be nice if she can get some heat on it, but uh, she's also got, it's important to get it in because they've certainly got momentum right now. But, uh, Higgins, one of Hawaii's best servers, she's one of their best producers from behind the line. They couldn't ask for a better situation. Either her or Ty Mata Rolling Val, those are the two big acers. Uh, but I think what's sad is that they're hitting 196 to Long Beach State's 286. And then whenever you get beat by 100 points in the kill percentage column, you're probably going to be behind significantly in the scoring column. And credit the 49ers, they have been picking up balls left and right. But you're right about Taylor Higgins, third in the Big West Conference in aces per set. But just like the second serve in tennis, got to make sure you get this one in. Exactly. Remember, Hawaii had this exact opportunity. Late in the first set, Aloha ball against Long Beach. And the 49ers were able to extend it and then eventually win. Higgins, the deep serve, Jackson the pass. Hudson goes right side to Reed, off the block and out. And a fist pump from Brian Gimalero as Long Beach State takes a two set to none advantage over the home team, Rainbow Wahine. This is a rivalry for the ages in the Big West Conference. And right now, Long Beach State looking to spoil the fun at the Stan Sheriff Center. Get back into this match. Okay, I got to reiterate what Lisa Strand just said. You know, she was talking about, uh, about, about Hawaii's got to toughen up their serve. <clears throat> Unless Hawaii puts Long Beach State into a, into a broken system, they're going to continue to struggle because uh, well, this Long Beach State team is passing so well right now. Tougher serving is the only way Hawaii is going to, I think, uh, mix things up and have a chance to score more points. The question. And on Hawaii's side, I agree with her as well that, uh, that uh, with Ryan Suji, he said, we're going to get McGill and, uh, and Adolfo more, more involved. And I think when Hawaii does, good things will happen. In the meantime, Hawaii's playing it against the Long Beach State team that is just very, very sharp right now. Good rhythm, very consistent. All right, let's check in with some Twitter talk here as set three gets underway. This game is filling me with a mix of different emotions, man. Mad, happy, sad, ugh, everything. We feel you, Mr. <laughs> Castro. And Long Beach State with the serve to start, but it is Kalea Dolfo with the kill for Hawaii. One serving zero here to start set number three. Vicki Taylor here with the serve. Having herself a decent match, eight kills. That's Murray dug up by Taylor. Now Greeley against a double block. And she's able to find the floor in front of a diving on its Tabrinka. Now the, how about the dig by, by Vicki Taylor just protecting herself? We got new libero, and you, I think you mentioned that already. About to get into that, actually, Sarah Mendoza replacing Savannah Kahakai at the libero position. Mackey is dug up over the net, and then Mendoza digs up Murray. And then for the back row, Manuole Bao pings it against the back line. And believe it or not, that drew a clap from Brian Gimalero. He thought that Hawaii's play there was pretty good, and so he clapped for Manuole Bao. Good sportsmanship. Adolfo takes advantage of the overpass. And Hawaii coming out the gate like gangbusters here in set number three. So do you think they can drop on being down 0-2 against Irvine last week and make that experience worth something? Oh. Yeah. Left side, here's Reed. Blocked and roofed by Taylor Higgins. And a timeout taken by Brian Jimalero. Hawaii. 
5-0 on Long Beach State in the third. Well, as you mentioned, Chris, Hawaii went five on the road with UC Irvine. They were down two sets to none. They were down in the third. Made a couple of changes, including a change at libero. Ended up winning in five as Bree Mackey hits it wide of the court. Oh, they'll call that one in. Well, it was right in front of us. It looked like it was wide. There was not a touch, but they call it an in ball and a point. Let's check it out. I thought it was wide as well. Let's take a look and see if the slow-mo shows anything. Uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good there. Here's Higgins pushing her over on the second touch, and it works out as a kill for Taylor Higgins, so she gets it right back for Hawaii. So here in the third here tonight, Hawaii trailing two sets to none. We see the change at libero as Sarah Mendoza, the senior, takes over for Savannah Kahakai. Right now, Hawaii up 6-1. See if they can continue to ride this tie. Step out, here's Mackey off the block. Covered by Mendoza. Higgins sets up Mano Levao. Off the fingertips, brink of the touch. And a free chance now for Hawaii. Higgins goes deep corner, one hand saved by Reed. Then Mackey, the two hand pushover. And Higgins keeps it clear. Now Mano Levao dug up by Jackson. Good rally again. Murray able to find the hard angle to the near side. Yes, he is. Both teams playing such tremendous defense. I thought Higgins ball was going to drop. Did not. Here's a nice little short set in the middle to Murray. Murray, just a steady player for a freshman. I'll tell you, she's so poised. Step out Adolfo, block back. Higgins pops it in the air. Now Mano Levao off of the back bump set by Mendoza and a diving save by Lawmaster. Now Mackey from the right side. And Bree Mackey with her ninth kill of the evening. Now. Long Beach State has had some legendary opposite hitters. Head coach Brian Gimilera refers to Bree Mackey as perhaps the most well-rounded of them all. Mano Levao attacking that block. And it'll be returned. Higgins goes back to tie, and this time blocked by guess who right on cue? Bree Mackey. I mean, you talk about Alicia Mills, U.S. national team. Taiba Hanif, Olympian. Veronica Walls, member of the 98 national championship team from that opposite position. And he says Bree Mackey is right there, maybe the best of all of them. Well, I think he says that because she's a six rotation player, and she can play all positions. And you can tell how she is at the net. Those last couple of blocks have been tremendous. She reaches over, extends. She makes it very difficult for the left side hitters for the opposing team, I'll tell you that. Mendoza to serve Hawaii up three. Overpass by Reed. McGill took a swing at it, and then it was knuckled on a one-handed set by Hudson to nobody. So either way you look at it, Hawaii gets the bump. Here's Mackey. Off the fingertips, right there is Taylor. Higgins goes high and away to Mano Levao. One hand diving save, Jackson. Now put over by Brinka. Here's Taylor from the back row. Dug up by Hudson. Set goes back row to Reed against a triple block. Missed wide to the far side. No touch and a point for Hawaii. Watch Tyler Jackson here make this. Pops this up with one hand. It's one of the reasons why Brian Jamilero calls her the best libero in the country. Three-time Big West Conference Defensive Player of the Week this season. And an ace served up by Sarah Mendoza. Hawaii up 10-4 here in the third. Sarah Mendoza feeling it right now. She had a couple tremendous digs down the line off Mackey's shots, and now she's in a serving room. Showing some comfort back in that libero jersey. Middle set, Opala. Sniffed out by Mano Leval. She'll get the set on the outside. Good save in the back row by Reed. Now break a hard angle. Mendoza couldn't handle it. Anna Tabrinka from Latvia. Her brother Bruno plays for the Latvian national team and described by Brian Gimilero as a competitor. A worker was the term he used. She hit some sharp angle there. Very tough to dig that ball. Aberjack and a couple aces versus Hawaii, the first meeting between these two teams. McGill's dug up. Left side, here's Brinka against a solo block, went up and over Taylor Higgins. To the deck. A mismatch there, the 6-2 Brinka against the 5-8, 5-9. Higgins. Higgins a 
has to chase it down and sets it over the net. So a free swing for Hudson, but Hawaii handles it. Taylor missed it long. No touch. Point Long Beach State. They're back to within three. That's why this crowd was yelling at 10-5. They were yelling, let's go, Bows. They usually save that for when the other team is making a run. Instead, the crowd knows how dangerous this Long Beach State team is and how good they are. Mano Leval through the block and down. UH Athletics reaches out to you online each week with updates and promotions through its HMail e-newsletter. To register, visit hawaiiathletics.com and click on the HMail button. It's simple and it's free. Higgins with the serve. Hawaii up four. Missed wide. I tried that top line shot. I think that uh, I think that every server for Hawaii has got to try something different than what they did the first two sets. Blinko with the floater. Here's Taylor against a double block. Right there is Jackson. Middle set, Opala. Right there is Mendoza. Now Greeny from the back row. Jackson, a perfect dig. Ratatat it over. And the bump set to Greeley. She could not two-hand it over. And it is a point for Long Beach State. They're back with it, too. And that gets Dave Shoji up off the bench. It has been that kind of a match. Whenever he has made a run, Long Beach State bounced right back with a run of its own. You can't get a large enough lead against this team. <laughs> and you're right, the crowd can feel that. Here's Taylor from off the net. She's made it work from all kinds of angles here tonight. Hawaii's getting points the hard way. The ball's being passed in the 10-foot line, bump set to the outside, kill. When Long Beach State gets their points, ball's passed up to the net, and they're running system plays. Mano Leval missed it wide. So you have two of your most devastating point-scoring servers missing wide on opposite sides of the floor. And Long Beach stayed within two. <laughs> Diving past Mano Oliveau. Now Green winds up, uncoils, blocked. Mendoza keeps it going. Now Taylor against a double block. Hit it fat. Was there a touch? No touch. Point 49ers. And they're right there in the thick of things yet again. Dave Shoji. Sensing a severe shift in momentum signals for a timeout. Let's go inside the numbers presented by Levitt Yamane and Soldner. 17 is the digs for Libero Savannah Kahakai in her first career start. That was on the road Saturday against Cal State Fullerton. Coming off of the five-set match against UC Irvine where she was inserted in midway through. McGill, oh, she was levitating that time and was able to pound it down for a Hawaii point. Much better pass that time by Mendoza. Got the ball up to the net where Higgins could run a quick play to, to uh, McGill. That was the 12th time Higgins has set McGill. So that makes five different attackers for Hawaii having received 12 opportunities offensively. So Higgins trying to spread the wealth. Here's Reed. Blocked back and roof. That was a smack at the net. First the Reed swing and then the Adolfo denial. And Janelle Hudson had Hawaii blockers jumping all over the place with her deception. But uh, that time Taylor and Adolfo managed to get the job done. Seventh block for the Molokai native. Middle set, it's Murray. Higgins digs it to the net and Adolfo wins the duel. The senior captain is here to play tonight. How about Adolfo doing the full 180? Turns right around and knows exactly where the net is, even though she's blind when she turns around. Great play. And Ponce touches the top of the tape. Now Reed, big swing, blocked again by Kale Adolfo. Adolfo and Taylor. Taylor moved the block in just right. Timeout, Long Beach State. Putting up the wall. Time now for the Fujitsu air conditioning cool play of the match. We're going to make it a series of plays. It's the Kalea Dolfo wall put up on separate sequences. Three blocks in a row by Adolfo. Three of her eight on the night. Putting on a block party here at the Stan Sheriff Center. Step out goes to Murray. And Adolfo got a touch on that one. 
Here's Taylor from off the net, off-speed hit. 49ers go step up to Murray again. High hands off of Greeley. Higgins, right side, Taylor. Diving one-hand save to the net by Cabrajack, but again, Adolfo finishes the deal. So alert at the net, good hands. Hard to not reach over and tap the cable there. Very adept at keeping her hands off the cable and picking up yet another kill. Eight kills, eight blocks for Kalea Dolfo. And a 5-0 run for Hawaii. Trying to add to it, Adolfo with the left hand touch over. And it's Hudson taking a swing from the right side, but didn't get it above the table. So point for the Rainbow Wahine. And they are right now in control of this third set. But can they finish the deal is the question. No lead. You just said it. Against Long Beach State. Trust me. And again, the crowd knows it. They're sitting on their hands. And just like that, Janelle Hudson, one of the more aggressive attacking setters that you'll see in college volleyball, puts it down on the second touch. She's, she's such a great athlete. Much like her mother, Carolyn. There you go. She spent a year here before she went back to San Diego. Yeah, Hudson, for a setter, averages over a kill per set and came into this match hitting 340. <laughs> Here's Greeley blocked. And roof. They're going to follow lift against Adolfo on the ricochet. So a point for Long Beach State. They're back to within five. Certainly a manageable distance. And here are the 49ers. As we have seen tonight. Taylor through the block and down. Another Taylor made point for Hawaii. Taylor Higgins to Nikki Taylor. And the lead is back to six. Good choice by Taylor Higgins here. I think it, uh, it was going to be obvious the ball was going to go to the middle to Adolfo. Instead, Taylor went back over her head to awaiting Taylor. Nikki Taylor. And this set, Mackey blocked back by Adolfo. Chance for Hawaii. Left side, Greeley against a solo block. Hard angle in. Hawaii's transition offense right now is so sharp. Passing more, much more crisp in the first two sets. Taylor that time caught it fat, hit it long, point long beach. But Hawaii first to 20, trying to turn that corner. Down the home stretch here in the third. Toughest points to get, those points between 20 and 25. Higgins backs at the Taylor up one foot, got rejected by Ana Tabrinko. Not sure Nikki was ready for this, Taylor Higgins said. See, Higgins is, is a misdirection. Mendoza was set high and away to Greeley against the double block. Hudson off the ricochet, step out, goes to Murray. The dink popped up by Adolfo. Second touch, Mendoza. Three chance now for the 49ers. Hudson, middle set, Murray blocked by Adolfo. Thumb set, goes to Brinko, blocked by Adolfo. And Ruth! Kalei Adolfo on fire at the net right now. She's touching everything. She doesn't block it straight down, she's at least slowing the ball down so Hawaii can make a transition play. Kalea Dolfo has become an immovable object at the net for Hawaii. Kahakai in to serve. Step out. Mackey didn't get a good contact on it, missed it wide. Point, Rainbow Wahine. They are up seven and three away from extending this match. A rare error from Bree Mackey. Kai to serve, pass, Jackson, middle set, Murray, and is able to that time get it by Kalea Dolfo, pulling off the nearly impossible from what we've seen here in this latest stretch. Had she blocked that one, it would have been her 10th block of the night. So now Lindsay Lamaster with the serve. Set goes to Manole Vau. The block hadn't really formed, but there was still a touch there. So 49ers set up Rinka from off the net, dug up by Mendoza. Right side, Taylor. And it's returned. Higgins sets up Manole Vau up the ladder. Off the block, kept alive by Reed. Bump set. Here's Brinka blocked back by Higgins. Hudson goes middle set. And Opala puts it down. Long Beach State runs their transition game. 
They set the middle almost every time. It's just back so fast that you go up, almost can't get your defense ready because they're coming at you that fast. A finely tuned machine on the Long Beach side of the net for sure. Mano Levao with no blockers up pulverizes that set. Great set by Higgins, great pass up there by Kahn Kai. It's a lot wide run a great offense, and Mackey can just knock it out there in time. Sarah Mendoza, remember the change at libero here in the third. She serves. Set middle, Apollo off one leg. And she blasts it off the block and out. Apollo just so difficult to block. She hits high, hard. If she gets nice little tip shot, she moves around quite well as, as well. She's got 10 kills on 27 attacks. Here's the serve by Cabrajack. Pass tight to the net. Quick middle to McGill. Now there's a timing play that's very difficult. And Hawaii pulled it off. Higgins to McGill with precision. And the towels are coming out at set point. The towels, the tea leaves. Here's Higgins with the serve. And it's an ace. Just like that, we play on here at the Stan Sheriff Center. We knew Higgins was going to ramp up her serve, but we didn't know if she was going to ramp it up that much. 5,819, the announced attendance. And they were all busting as Hawaii takes it to four. So we move to a fourth set, and a big reason why the play of Kalea Dolpo in that third stanza, Chris. And she just did so much to keep the Rainbow Wahine in it. And she touches so many balls and forces the Long Beach State hitters to change their angle of attack, change their shot selection, because she is just so ominous up front. She has nine total blocks to go along with eight kills, so on the verge of a double-double effort. But most importantly, that ability to put up that blockade in that third set really turned the tide, swung the pendulum of momentum to Hawaii's side. And all of a sudden, we move to a fourth with the Rainbow Wahine for the first time tonight, maybe feeling confidence. You've got to wonder if Clay Adolfo is feeling a little bit of weight off her shoulders that she doesn't have to go to basketball every day after volleyball. Some, sometimes she's got her mind in another place sometimes, and she said it's nice to be single-minded with volleyball right now. And she has looked fresh. There's no doubt about it. And I agree with that. I wonder if they have visions of Irvine. Down 0-2. Let's just do it again. Middle set. And that is Opala. And she says, do that again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to win, to win the, the, uh, the fourth set if Opala does that all game long. Between Opala and McGill, we see a couple of middles who hit the ball about as high above the net as you'll see. Yeah. Here's Greeley against the double block. Good save by Cabrajack over the net, though, and it'll be a net violation called against Adolfo, and she looks at the official with bewilderment. How important is this start here in the fourth, Chris? Very important. Cabrajack. Pass Mendoza, left side, Greeley. Missed it long, was there a touch? There was none. And so Long Beach State up 3-0 here off the jump in the fourth. And Dave showed you, I'm going to call an early timeout here so Long Beach State doesn't get too much momentum. Good pass by Mendoza. High and away, Greeley gets a solo effort. Now they move Don't Call to the outside to block Greeley. Left the smaller Hudson in the middle. Greeley really took advantage of that. Really got set 39 times the first meeting between these two teams. Had 10 kills. Tonight, 31. Make that 32 sets. And nine kills. Brinka. Missed it wide. First errant pass by Long Beach State in a long time. Other than the times I got aced, but just the regular passes, first time in a long time. She likes to take her time behind the service line. And slaps it over. Step out goes to Apollo over the block. Dug up by Greeley to the net. It's going to be a duel. 
And it's won by Branca. It was a little bit more on the Long Beach side, so she was able to get a pretty good hand on it. And it's a point for Long Beach State. But how did Hawaii, looking back on that third set, how did Hawaii turn it around in the third? I think it was all about the serve and blocking. You know, great serves up allowed Adolfo to roam at the net. Those two things turned everything around. Here's Manoli Bao from flying in, dug up by Brinko. Left side set goes to Reed. That's touched up by Manoli Bao. Greeley from the back row, yes! Oh, I love the way she hits out of the back row. Provides a new dimension to Hawaii's offense. And here comes McGill. Nice bump set by Mendoza. Really goes over two blockers. Ten kills on 34 attempts for Greeley. Here's Apollo. Wasn't there. That's a point for Hawaii. We draw even at four. These two teams have had some epic showdowns. There was a stretch there where Long Beach State was the bane of Hawaii's volleyball existence. Ending Hawaii's year in 1989, 1990, 91, 93, and 94. Here's Taylor from the back row. Scooted it by that double block and down. Nikki Taylor with her 11th kill of the night. Go along with five errors. This is another new dimension of Hawaii's offense that I think has made it much more versatile, much more difficult to defend. First lead in this third, uh, fourth set for Hawaii. Top serve by Mendoza. Wow. The Mendoza had a run in the last set. Higgins had a shot down the line. Manuel Val had a jump serve down the line. And these locations of the serves, I think, are making it difficult for Long Beach State. That was a deep serve played by Brinko. And another difficult pass. Now the advantage for Hawaii. Higgins got blocked on the second touch over. Here's Taylor from the back row. Hard angle. Missed it wide. Talking about Sarah Mendoza, she has looked very strong since being inserted back in at Libero. Any value you think, perhaps, from watching from the sideline after the replacement as Savannah Kahakai was put in as the starter? Absolutely. She's watching every single play where Savannah goes, who to serve, how to cover. Sarah's ready. The block by McGill. Hudson tried to pull a fast one. McGill was on to her that time. Olivia McGill, one of the reasons she's one of the best blockers in the country, I think she's ranked sixth right now, is she holds her hands up, keeps her eyes on the center, makes great reads, jumps twice there. She blocked both the middle and the outside. Reed getting the kill there. And for Reed, that is kill number 14 on the evening. But all those season-ending losses to Long Beach State over the course of those six years, and then Hawaii with the cathartic, memorable win in 2000. As Manole Val hammers that one down to the floor. A five-set win for Hawaii in the 2000 regional here in Honolulu. I mean, that was all-time right there. And who knows? This could be building towards another five-setter. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves here. It's still very early on in the fourth. Donnelly Val, good serve. Mackey has to chase down the second touch. And you're right, Chris, for the first time starting to see some shaky service reception from Long Beach. But Hawaii couldn't take advantage in transition. Middle set, Murray puts an end to that sequence. So Long Beach State will make you pay. If you don't, if they give you a free ball, you better score. If you don't, they'll make you pay. They'll come right back at you. And, and they'll come with force and they'll go to the middle like with Murray or Paula. Very, very good middle attackers. Here's Taylor, puts it down. She has been steady. At that time, Taylor Higgins had a great misdirection set. She's running one way, sets back the other. And Nikki Taylor took advantage of the one-person block. She's got 12 kills, 35 swings. Mano Lebao, 11 kills on 38 attempts, and Greeley, 10 kills on 34 tries. Middle set, Murray blocked back. She keeps it going. Gets another try at it, blocked by Adolfo. Right side, here's Mackey, blocked by Adolfo, but it goes out. So a point for Long Beach State. Boy, Kalei Adolfo is honed in right now. And now Murray will come out of the contest. 
contest. Murray heads back to the bench. Her dad, Lamont Murray, was a basketball star at Cal, played in the NBA for 11 seasons. She also has a brother, Lamont Jr., who plays hoops for Pepperdine. Here's Taylor, tight to the net, touches it through the block and down. I don't know how she got that ball through, but she did. I thought that was a, I thought that was going to be a, a slam dunk roof right there. She snuck it by. She needs to wear a magician hat and carry a wand for shots like that. Not sure how she does it. I like her ad lib comments. She's an ad libber, that's what she is. Uh, improvisation offensively for Nikki Taylor. The serve, however, goes wide. So Long Beach State down a point. And it is Chelsea Caberjack with that very difficult serve. He's tied for the team lead. 19 service aces coming into tonight. Adolfo continues her tear. That is kill number nine for Calais. I think the more Hawaii can go back to their middles, Adolfo and McGill, the better chance they're gonna have to uh, win this set. There's Greeley. Ask Jackson. Step out, Opala. Diving save, Greeley. Mendoza will two-handed over. Free opportunity here for the 49ers. Middle set, Opala blocked. They go outside this time. It is Brinka diving save to the net. And Long Beach couldn't return it. How about that turning of the tide? The boy just scrambling like crazy. Long Beach State. Yeah, look at Dave showed he's quiet. I can't believe he's quiet with all this crowd going nuts with the white towels tonight. But Hawaii just not wanting to lose this set. They seem to be determined. Lee again slaps it over past Reed. Left side, Brinka, fingertips and down. So on to Brinka does it again. Just, just a freshman. What a find for Jim Alero. Found her in Latvia of all places. Saw her YouTube video and then Went to Latvia and visited to see if it was the real deal. And she is the real deal. Boy, the recruiting game has changed over the years, huh? Now it's a YouTube type of deal. There's a number of conversations, by the way. Yeah. Sure I know. Taylor going off the block and out to a point for a what? Nikki Taylor, 14 kills, hitting 216 to go along with seven blocks. And goes of a serve. Brink of the pass. Step out of Paula. Goes high and then again just sort of pushes it down. It's very close to being a slam dunk. Luckily, she lets go of the ball pretty quickly and doesn't hold on too long. If she were to hold on a fraction of a second longer, it could be called a lift. Taking about as close as she is, yeah, as close as you can get. As you can legally pull off. Here's Jackson. And goes a stiff pass there. Middle set McGill. Pinballed around and Reed will bump it over. Free chance for Hawaii. Outside, Manole Bao up the ladder. Down the shoot. Net violation against the 49ers. It doesn't matter. Point for Hawaii. 31 one time. Next time they're going to fake the 31. Go outside to Manole Bao. She again goes for high hands. Bumps that to Reed from off the net. McGill got a piece. She gets the set in the middle. The dink perfectly placed. Hawaii gets to 15 first. The Rainbow Wahine on the comeback trail in this match. Rainbow Wahine volleyball expands the generations. Fans of all ages coming out to the stand share of center. It's Christmas time. Speaking of what's Christmas time, isn't it? It's a little early. He's, He's, got little the, early. He's got the spirit, though. Yeah. Taylor Higgins with the serve. Taking a little something off of the serve the last couple of sets, and it works out. The overpass, and how about Nikki Taylor, Chris? Yeah, that that hit. That's what she said. She said she's ambidextrous. Isn't that improvising? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I, I believe it's the definition of it. She did it again. Higgins, that time put a little more pop into it. Reed. Dug up by Mendoza, tight to the net, and put down by Murray. Let's go back to Nikki Taylor here moments ago. Tight ball of the net, she goes up with her left hand, not her right, and puts it down. But it's not that 
asking us about that board extraordinary for her it because didn't, she's ambidextrous. It didn't look very awkward. You know, sometimes when you try to throw with your opposite hand, it looks kind of funky, but that was pretty well done. Right side, here's Mackey and Bree Mackey getting back into the mix here. Point for Long Beach State. It is 13 serving 16. And again, if you give them an easy ball or a free ball, easy down ball, they'll pass the ball low and fast to the net, come right back at you. But a service error by Janelle Hudson. Only the third error of the night. That's a very, very low number. Boys only got seven errors on their own. It's amazing how the tables have turned here, where it's Long Beach State now with some shaky service receptions and some shaky passing on its side. That one there pretty good. Just over on the second touch by Hudson, and Mendoza couldn't get the spatula underneath it. Hudson's got that great little side set, doesn't she? She almost pulled it off in the, in the first set, but Higgins popped it up. So aggressive from that setter position. Now Reed, the hop serve. Middle set, McGill hanging in the air. Talk about hang time, are you kidding me? She just went up and waited and waited. Higgins fires it to her. Look she at just that. Drills it. You can't even see the wires as she hangs up there. We're, we're seeing four pretty darn good middles tonight on both sides of the net. Punce with the ace. There is a different vibe on the Hawaii side of the net now. We're seeing a little more bounce. We're seeing more smiles. They've got it flowing. Can they keep it going? Step out, Mackey. The touch shot works. Problem with that last serve, Kenora, that uh, Anna had was that uh, Lisa Strand Miles said, whatever you do, do not serve in Jackson. That ball went right to Tyler Jackson. She put the ball right to the money. I think Hawaii servers definitely got to avoid in Tyler Jackson. Here's Greeley, winds up, uncoils, off the block it's played, middle set, Opala blocked. Can they get it over? Mackey does touch it over, diving save Higgins, Mendoza bump set. Greeley from way off the net hits it into the twine. Well, you like when she does take a swing regardless of position on the floor on the oh, third yeah. touch, but yeah. that one there, she just missed it. Dave Chody's going to call time on getting organized. Give his team a little deep breath. Away by three, looking to push it to a fifth. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, yet another potential classic between Hawaii and Long Beach State. Rainbow Wahine down two sets to one, but up here in the fourth. And Nikki Taylor out of the timeout continues that trend of Hawaii earning points out of breaks. I'll tell you what made that play was Kanakai's perfect pass, and Higgins choosing to go behind her to Nikki Taylor, who's been successful over there. That was a huge point to get to 20 before Long Beach State can continue their run. And Hawaii hitting a fat 458 here in the fourth set. And now Brian Gimilero going to call a timeout. What is this about, Chris? He doesn't want Hawaii to get away from him. He doesn't want more distance put between them. So this is moments ago, right before the timeout. Nikki Taylor, you see the swing, and it goes off of the face of Anita Brinka. And so there was a reddening in her cheeks, and her eyes were a little bit misty and teary because of it. And so that is the reason I think Brian Gimilero called for that last timeout as we return to live action. And it is a kill for Calais Greeley. Mackey got a piece, but then it touched the antenna. How about, how about the back bump set by Savannah Kahakai again from deep in the backcourt? and really converts. So Hawaii up a handful, and Taylor with the serve. Brinka pushes it, but down the line there was Taylor. Now Greeley on her way down with the swing. And Kahakai once again on the back bump set. All right, Twitter talk. Make like salt and pepper and push it to five, says Sean Amon. I mean, you know what that's referring, right, Chris? Of course. 
Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper with the, with the all-time hip-hop jam. Push it. That's exactly what Dave Choji wants his Rainbow Wahine team to do. Push it to a fifth, and they have a golden opportunity to do that, Chris. Boy, at the start of this set, I thought, i got to be honest with you, I thought Long Beach State had been playing better for most of the night, and they would have maybe one game lapse, and then they'd go out and steal game four. But Hawaii instead has stolen set four so far. And uh, this, even with a six-point lead, you worry about Long Beach State, they score points and punches. And uh, that guy right there pushes an off lot of good buttons. He's got a great team, and uh, it's going to be... It's going to be a challenge to get these last three points, I'll tell you that. The turnaround against UC Irvine when Hawaii was down two sets to none on the road, it coincided with the change at Libero. It wasn't necessarily the only reason. Same with tonight, though. Sarah Mendoza gets put at the Libero in set three. Hawaii all of a sudden starts to play a little bit more collectively. How much is it associated with one another? You know, that's, that's a good question. I, I, I don't think that one substitution really has made the difference. Um, although what, it's interesting that the two have changed, switched their roles. Kalakai came in and just passed great as Libero, and it was so-so as a, as a defender. And then it was the reverse for Mendoza. Now they've reversed that role tonight. I'm not sure what's going on. All I know is Dave showed he's got to be happy that one of them is going to be playing well each night. That's yeah. for sure. And what's great, the relationship they have. Look at that. Exchanging high fives with one another. Sarah Mendoza, the senior, giving way the last two matches to Savannah Kahakai in the starting rotation at Libero, but was in full support of her, and here we are now, vice versa, the roles have once again switched, and we have a new player in for Long Beach State, Sophie Bukovic, a 6-1 sophomore from Toronto, Canada, on the floor, Hawaii up 22-16, right side, here's Mackie, down the line, and it gets through the palms of Mendoza. Mackie at 6-3, long arms, reaches so high, to hit over any block, 13th kill right there. Now Cabrajack, she has been very difficult to handle for Hawaii from behind the service line. Greeley with the pass, pushed over on the second touch by Higgins, but right there was Reed, and she'll send it over. Adolfo got away with one there. Higgins bailed her out with the dump shot. Adolfo maybe thought that she should have let that one go, but she popped it up and it worked out for Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jim Lero, have you incited the crowd a little bit here? He says, is that legal? Are you sure that's legal? Oh, what, you're getting some of those fortuitous bounces for sure in the last couple of sets. Another bad pass, and it's an ace. Kalei Greeley gets Hawaii to within a point I think of the fifth game. I think Hawaii's had a better job of staying away from, from Tyler Jackson. So the other perimeter passers are having to do more work. Kalei Greeley to serve. Step out, Opala off the fingertips right there is Greeley. Higgins goes back throw to Taylor. Dug up over the net, big swing, Manole Val. Pinballed back and forth. Now Greeley from the back row. Another duel at the net. Net violation against Long Beach State. Point Hawaii. What a finish to an amazing fourth set. Long Beach State flawless passers all night long until the fourth set. Mark it up, folks. Another classic between these two teams. This is what this rivalry is known for, Chris. Yet another five-setter coming up between Long Beach State and Hawaii. They play to 15. What is the key here in the fifth? Quick start. They showed you'll tell you that every time. Quick start is absolutely imperative. So serve's got to be in, got to get in. You know, you can't sort of self-implode and try too hard. On the other hand, if you back off too much, a team like Long Beach State will come running right down your throat. So uh, there's a delicate balance there. Slippery slope. And we'll see if uh, Hawaii can ride the emotions of this crowd as well. They're second player tonight. Yeah, a little over 5,800 here at the Stan Sheriff Center. Listen to them. Hawaii trying to stay in contention in the Big West Conference. A loss tonight would be devastating, certainly, and would basically set Long Beach State up 
to cruise on to the Big West title. But a win by Hawaii keeps it very much in question. Yeah, I think a, a, uh, a, key, a key component of this set number five for Hawaii is they've got to serve away from Tyler Jackson. You know, serve down the line, serve the, the perimeter players. Hawaii hit 452 in the fourth set. They are led by Nikki Taylor's 16 kills. She also has seven blocks. Kaleo Dolfo has put in a Herculean effort. Nine kills, nine blocks. On the other side for Long Beach, 14 kills for Alex Reed, but she's cooled off a little bit after a very hot start. Marie Mackey, 13 kills to follow her up. But all those stats thrown out the window because right now it comes down to these 15 points. These two teams going five sets twice this year. The setter Janelle Hudson from way behind the service line serves it long. Well, I like the way she stepped way back, all the way back to this tarmac and got way, way back for a deep serve. Didn't miss the serve by much, actually. So here's the other setter. Taylor Higgins gets it in. And the set not there, so it's a free chance for Hawaii. Higgins goes right side. Taylor off balance swing. Now Reed blocked, punched over by Mackey, popped up by Mendoza, and Greeley has to send it over. Free chance now for the 49ers. Right side, here's Mackey, over the double block, saved over the net, and just wide of the court. Hawaii had their chances in that point. Long Beach State had their chances. It was almost like a survival of the fittest in that point. That's kind of what this match has embodied. Here's Alex Reed, the hop serve, pass Greeley. Set right side, here's Manole Val blocked. Mendoza keeps it going, joust at the net, and it is won by Sophie Bukovic. They're gonna actually call a back row attacker against Higgins, I believe, on that. It's a violation against Hawaii. Either way you look at it, it's a point for Long Beach State, and they're up two serving one. Higgins to McGill, low set, through the triple block, pinballed around in return. Higgins goes right side. Here's Manole Val, Roof. And how about the insertion of Sophie Bukovic? She's made a couple of plays here late in the fourth set and early here in the fifth. And known better for her beach volleyball play. Got a gold medal last year in the under-21 World Championships. Overpass, Bukovic pounds it down. And it is a 4-1 lead for Long Beach State. The quick start put in by the beach. Timeout, Hawaii. Welcome back. Early start here for Long Beach State in the fifth of 4-1, hitting 600. Hawaii, negative 250 here to start. Set number five. And Alex Reed serving out of the timeout. Here's Manuel Leval, the dink. Right there is Jackson, had it covered. Right side, Mackey, the touch over. Dug up by Manuel Leval. Bump set, here's Taylor. And a net violation called against Long Beach State. It's gonna go against Ashley Murray. So Hawaii gets a freebie. And it'll be Manuel Leval, their best point scoring server, back to serve, but hold the phone. They will put Savannah Kahakai in to serve in place of Manuel Leval. For defensive reasons right now, uh, Dave Schroeder would love to have both Mendoza and Kahakai on the floor at the same time. Here's Mackey. Reed kept it alive. Touched over by Mackey. Right there is Kahakai. Left side. Here's Greeley against a double block. Diving save. Jackson. She's been doing that all night. Now Bukovic. Blocked and roof. Nikki Taylor coming up with the big play. That was huge. As Bukovic, I thought, made it right, the right play here by trying to wipe the ball off Nikki's hands, and it did not work. Nikki was stable with her right hand. And again, Kahakai to serve. Down the line it goes. Reed handles it. Step out goes to Mackey. Blocked and roof by Olivia McGill. All of a sudden, that 4-1 deficit has been officially erased. We start over at four, serving four. And a substitution. Bukovic comes back out. Back in goes Ana Tabrinka. Kahakai 
floats it down the line. Reed, that was a low pass. Brinka from off the net. Right there's Mendoza. Advantage Hawaii. Right side, Taylor. Blocked. Higgins kept it alive momentarily, but that turns into a point for Long Beach State. They were ready for Nikki Taylor that time. Right now, Long Beach State is doing a great job of getting two people up on Nikki Taylor. Taylor hitting right into Anika, Anika there. Almost there with the serve. Higgins high and away. Greeley roofed by Mackey. Mackey at 6'3", one of the better blockers on this Long Beach State team. In fact, tops on the team coming into tonight with 99 total blocks. Taylor, again, the set a little missed time. Chance for the 49ers, middle set, Opala. And she cleans up the Opala. And, and the 49ers get points in bunches. They showed you just want to use a timeout. He just wants to make a substitution to slow things down. Seven serving four. Higgins high and away. Here's Greeley into the net. Point Long Beach State. And they have Hawaii doubled up as they swap sides. It is gut check time for the Rainbow Wahine. Backs against the walls in the truest way. They really had the right selection there, but just hit it too low. Long Beach State had taken her cross court, so the line was open. She just, uh, just missed it. Credit the beach for putting up the right blocks and making some good digs, forcing Dave Schoenke to call his second and final timeout. So we'll keep things here at the Stan Sheriff Center. It was a 4-1 advantage for Long Beach State, then Hawaii came roaring back, tied it at four, and now a 4-0 run for the 49ers. Yes. Time out. Brian Jamal's got to be pleased with the way his team withstood that Rainbow Wahine rush. They bounced right back with four more points of their own. And as we sort of anticipated, we thought it had a chance of being an epic evening here at the Stan Sheriff Center with these two head coaches. We showed all the seasons between them, all the victories. How about seven national championships between these two as well? But right now, Hawaii desperately searching for a way to once again get back into this thing, trailing by four at the midway mark of set number five. Long Beach State coming in 19 and four overall. Their first time in three years reaching 19 wins. Hawaii 16 and five overall. And again, these two teams, one and two respectively, Long Beach State in first in the Big West Conference standing. Very important for Hawaii to get a good pass out of this timeout. And be in system right away. They got Melinda McGill up front. They got the Taylor up front. So some pretty good choices for Taylor Higgins. They've got Ty Bono Hori Val hitting out of the back. So a lot of different options. The most important thing is to put up a good pass on this server C. Master with the serve. On Oliveau, the pass, and it'll be a violation against Opala reaching over as Higgins was trying to attempt the set. A little too much aggression that time by Chisholm Opala and Sarah Mendoza to serve. The crowd quiets, tickles the tape, and it's an ace! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sarah Mendoza breathes a huge sigh of relief. She went from the outhouse right there to the penthouse <laughs> in, one, in one fell swoop. This time, she gets it deep, and it's another ace! Same result! It's her fourth service ace on the night. Hawaii back within a point. And this Akamai crowd quiets as she executes the serve. Mackey the pass. Set middle, Apollo blocked back. Hudson will go to Mackey on the right side. The touch over diving save, Manole Bao played off the net by Higgins. But she couldn't put any of her teammates in a position to return it to a point for Long Beach State. You know, that kind of play when you're under the net like that, sometimes it's, it's good to just hit the ball really hard against the net, have a slingshot back to a backcourt player. And an out serve by Cabrera. Well, 
Oh, she's been so steady all night long. Got that great little slider of a left-handed jump, jump serve. Very difficult to receive. Nikki Taylor, the soft touch down the line, pass by Reed, left side. And it is in cross court by Brinka. Well, Brinka's done that time in the game. She's got the nice little angle shot she uses. If the block moves in, she just hits more angle. And here is Brinka to serve. And it's an ace. That one fell off of a table as it crossed the plane of the net. Great serve by Brinka. No spin in the ball. The true knuckleball. On it to Brinka. Had to wipe away tears after getting popped in the grill by a Nikki Taylor kill. Here is Taylor from the back row against the double block. There to clean it up is Jackson. Left side, Reed, big swing, off the block, and now point Long Beach State. They're up four and approaching the precipice. Again, Dave shows you wanted to get a little more defense. Slow the server down because he's out of timeouts. So Kahakai goes in. Mama Olivao comes out. Brinka will serve. Into the net it goes. What you needed that one. She makes an error, but she got them on a great run. She got a three-point run. You get nice separation. And now the freshman Kalei Greeley. Imperative to get these serves in. Goes. Set high and away. Here's Reed. Off speeder. Covering it is Manuel Leval. Bump set goes back row to Greeley. Dug up by Jackson. Set middle. Opala finds the floor. Such a quick transition by the 49er. And you know who makes that is Tyler Jackson. Just an amazing libero. She bumps up on a very low trajectory. It gets to some very quickly. Now the other team is getting organized. Next thing you know, Hudson set the ball to Apollo and the play's over. And Jackson will serve, recruited by Hawaii out of high school. Into the net. Gillen goes back to the front row. He's back to serve. Oh, this is tension right here. See if Tatiana Ponce can keep the ball away from Tyler Jackson, serve the other part of the court. Just gets it over the net. Set goes high and away to Reed. Slams it to the Terraflex. Aloha ball for the match for Long Beach State. 15 kills for Alex Reed. What a night she's had. She was good in the beginning of the night. Got a little slow in the middle, then came on strong. Got no kill larger than that one right there by Alex Reed. Janelle Hudson diving past Mendoza. Set middle. McGill. Rabbits had it around and returned. Higgins goes high and away to Mano Oliveau. Over the double block. Was there a touch? No touch. This one is over. And Long Beach State has won it in a five-set thriller. You've got to give the beach credit. They could have gotten down. Could have uh, folded up the tents because they lost games three and four. But, you know, they returned to their old ways. Passed better in the set, fifth set. Dug better. Attacked the ball better. And, uh, and they served better. And Hawaii just uh, struggled to put runs together in that fifth set. It was a tough way to lose. I'm sorry, Dave Shoji's got to be bummed. Heck of a match. But Dave Shoji is with Scott Robb. Scott. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, Coach, I think maybe you dug yourselves too much of a hole early losing those first two sets. Well, we could have won game one. We should have won game one. But could have, would have, should have. We just made too many errors. We, made, we hit out at crucial points of game one and game five. You just can't win when you make mistakes at the end of games. That now puts Long Beach State three games ahead of you guys in the standings. Probably all but assures them of winning the regular season. That means the importance of tomorrow night is even magnified. Well, you're right. Um, we have to be Northridge. Uh, we can still get in the NCAA. We probably can't win the conference now. We're three games behind, but we certainly have, you know, a chance to be, uh, to, if we beat Northridge, our RPI doesn't drop very much, and so tomorrow night becomes way, way uh, important to us.
You guys came out and played very well in sets three and four. What were some of the adjustments you made during the intermission? Well, we passed better. We took care of the ball. We Our blocking assignments were better. Uh, you know, we, we put them in a little bit of trouble, but you know, the fifth game's a roll of a die, a roll of the dice, and so we got off to a poor start. But eh, you know, it's it's encouraging in some ways, but. It's really, really disappointing that we couldn't come away with a win tonight. Now, the tough part is that you have to play back-to-back -back nights. Long Beach State and Northridge, they only play one time this week. So, Northridge is probably in their hotel in Waikiki watching tonight's match. They were probably very happy to see you go five. It, it may be difficult to get back up again tomorrow night. Uh, we'll get back up, Scott. Don't trust me. Uh, we're going to play hard. We know the, the season's on the line, and uh, I, I think we'll come back strong. All right. Thanks a lot, Dave. Right, back to you, Kanoa. Thanks a lot, Scott. Let's check out the players of the match presented by Bank of Hawaii. Janelle Hudson, 53 assists, 4 kills, 11 digs. Olivia McGill, 7 kills, 7 blocks, hitting 389. A plethora of fantastic individual performances. But how do you sum this one up? Yet another incredible chapter in this rivalry between Hawaii and Long Beach State. But as has been the case many times, Dave Shoji leaves the floor in frustration as the 49ers able to eke out the five-set win. Yeah, Hawaii, Hawaii definitely, he knows his team played well enough to win this match, and that's why he's frustrated. You know, the first set got away from him, you're up 24-22, and don't pull it out. That's gotta be, I know that was frustrating. He had, he had three set points in the first set. Long Beach State only had one. So looking back, you know, hindsight is, you know, he, he, that could have turned the whole night around had they won the first set. But you gotta look at it as a, maybe two halves of a night, First two, not two, first two sets for Long Beach, second two sets Hawaii, and then the fifth set, you got it's, it's a coin toss when you play a 15-pointer. It's anybody's, it's, it's a lot of luck involved, but you know, you got to credit Long Beach State. They really played well. I love their transition game. So did you, I think, yeah. the way, how fast they ran it. You know, when the referee blows the whistle, that, that server's serving right away, and just everything is played at a quicker pace, and, and each of their players that came in played well. I love the way Sophie uh, Bukovic playing, came in, yeah. and she... Yeah. She, she spelled on it and did a wonderful job for three or four points there as she had to. So for Hawaii, Dave Shoji admitted they are likely out of the conference race, which means that for the first time in two decades, the Rainbow Wahine will not win some form of a conference championship. The significance of that? None. I think why all you know, Dave showed you is worried about all year long has been get to the NC2A championships. And he feels like they still can, but they need a win tomorrow night against Cal State Northridge, a team that Hawaii lost to in straight sets on the road. So, hey, it was a marathon, but the Rainbow Wahine are going to have to rev it back up in this building tomorrow night, and we'll be here because chances are it could be another thriller. For Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Leahy. Post game show is next. Aloha.